Hey guys, what's going on? This is Raylan here, and today I'm playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV and trying to get into it. I've been playing it since it came out, and um, I'm going to show you guys how and what you need to farm any kind of shards in the game. Now, shards, as we know, are required by every single crafting class um, to make items. Now, this guy over here, I mean, he's using a shard per strike or whatever he's making. Um, culinary and so he's using a water shard every single time so this tutorial will work on any any crafting or any kind of farming of the shard or crystals that you want now I'm at level 26 you get the um, the new ability to identify level 30 nodes um, it goes every five levels so at 11 you get to identify 15 at 16 you get to identify 20 uh, 25 and 30 so level 30 nodes yield you plus one which is important because it gives you one additional shard um, on top of those gathering plus one attempt nodes with the um, the ward here now uh, I kinda skip past this these wards um, wards are an easy way of saying you just get additional shards per swing now this gives you um, two more shards on top of the shard that you're already mining. So you get three per strike. Um, same thing goes for lightning shards and water shards. Now I am a uh, goldsmith, um, among other things, but goldsmith is the highest. It's sitting at level 32 right now. Um, level 9 armor, 5 carpenter, pretty easy stuff. Took two minutes to get that. Um, but at higher levels, um, like right now, if I wanted to make dyes, I would have to go out and farm crystals, which are pretty easy because I can find them using the personal logs, um, the gathering logs. Now, goldsmiths use wind and fire, but more or less they just use wind, wind for all their stuff. Um, so it's it's smart to at least get the botanist to level 20, and if you like mining instead, um, just make sure that whatever you're turning in you're trading it for wind because it only uses wind and fire and as a miner you can only farm three at one time with um, this ward whenever you're using at any kind of node uh, unfortunately or actually fortunately um, there are abilities that cross paths that you can use in different classes and these wards are among those um, so let's take a look at the botanist here and I switched over. See, actually, all these the all these become available for the botanist to use once you unlock them. So I uh, picked the two, two you know whatever, and I can swap them out anytime I want to and just flip them, switch spots if I find a node that I really want. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty simple, standard. So the botanist can go around, hit a tree, and if I find fire shards. Let's say, um, so let's say I'm, I'm mining, I want fire shard, three mile bend, um, I can go there and find a, a, a node that gives me plus, plus one gathering attempt or plus, uh, or just gives me an extra yield, which is an extra shard. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know from just by heart, just by doing this this routine over and over again, that the best places to fire shard farm are in Drybone because there are no enemies around here that can come after you. Um, at least for the level 20 nodes. So let's look at the personal logs here, where we should be going. And I actually already know, but let's say I don't know. Um, Fire, 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 here it is, fire. Dry bone. So we're in dry bone right now. We could also go to Wellwick, but um, right now, that's not where I want to be going. In fact, dry bone, dry bone's over here in this area. So I'm actually on the other opposite side where I want to be. So Wellwick over here for fire shard farmers, um, this is going to be the fire crystals, and this is going to be the fire shards, but this place also yields those fire shards. And um, an important thing to note is that fire shards are going to be 100% capture every single swing. So you can actually use Deep Vigor, which is um, a mineable class. 
or not mineable class, but um, it's a mineable, it's it's an ability that the miners get, which is right here. And that's at level 25. So you go to an extra gathering attempt node, which is going to be over here. This node here is going to be the fire shards. And um, you don't have to worry about high quality stuff here or extra gathering attempts. Um, if you make your rounds, you'll probably get your gathering points back up to level 400. Uh, within five minutes. So right here I have a gathering attempt plus one node. I'm going to use Nathan's ward or Nathan Nathal dolls. So now I'm getting three per swing and um, this node is I mean there are all these nodes all over the place. If this isn't just a secret place that I found there the nodes come in um, packs of four pretty much. So you're going to find those special ability nodes that yield you plus one or give you a high quality or give you an extra gathering attempt or give you an extra uh, whatever they're gonna be impactful for and each node has a different ability except for one I do believe now I mean, you can go over here and you can go back over here and mine that one and the, by, the, by the time you mine both of these that node over here that gives you an extra gathering attempt will be um, respawned so you can just keep going back and forth you don't have to hit all four of those nodes if you just want to make your rounds um, base it around the five the five shards you can do that too whatever um, I did the math and it's I think it's I think it's 12 shards a minute which is three nodes so you can get three nodes in a minute and uh, unless you're using the ward um, you get 15 and then you go to the next node you get 19 and 23 so Either you're getting 12 a minute, or you're getting, or you're getting 20, 21, I think, 23. Um, this, this rocky outcrop here, it yields you plus one. Now already I'm getting plus two. Now if I use the the ward over here, I'd be getting plus four, which is a lot. I mean, but in reality, it's only one more shard than over there, because that's I'm not getting an extra t an extra attempt. So it's 16 to 15. And all these nodes over here will be um, yielding those fire shards. Um, that's the only one that yields plus one. And on these two are the only ones that yield fire crystals. Now an important thing to remember is that fire crystals aren't going to be a 100% grab. They're actually going to have a level attached to them. These are level 1s, level 26. So the difference between um, XP wise, if you're looking to, to level up, fire crystals are a great way to do it because you do have a high percentage already. Um, if you're decked out with gear, and I am a little bit decked out with gear, so, and I do have 164 gathering, 154 perception, and you don't have to worry about high quality, so you don't have to worry about using unearth abilities, um, but they do yield you 210, 202, you know, compared to the 10 experience points that you get um, per fire shard farm. So not only are you getting a lot of XP for this. And remember, guys, you want to be getting around 150 to 200 XP if you want to level up. If you're farming, that's a different story. You don't you don't worry about leveling up. You just want to get money. You want to be as rich as I'm not even rich. I'm 300 grand. Um, isn't really that much, but it's more than enough to do whatever. So this has been a farming uh, fire shard guide, and. Um, it's it can be used wherever like right now if you look at your gathering logs you look at fire shards I'm in Wellwick which is also where fire crystals are and you can go over here to wind crystals you can go to nine lives which is in East Shroud and I do believe that there are nine lives over here so yeah you see nine lives are over here too so you can go wind shard farming but you don't have the the wards to yield you those extra two shards that you would be getting if you just stayed fire shard farming but that's where the botanist comes in so the botanist has an ability at level that unlocks at level 20 just like um, just like the miner does and that gives you the other three wards that yield you plus two per swing so right here this ward is really special it's 400 you know you can only use it every so often but it does give you those extra two so on any of those gathering nodes that you find, um, you use this ability, you get more shards. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there are only six different kinds of shards in the game, 
and all of them are covered between the miner and the uh, the botanist here. And as you can see, I'm a botanist, but I have these minor abilities in which I used for the the cross the class that crosses. So all these I can put on my botanist and just go out. I can also have prospect up, so just in case I'm in an area that I can mine, but I'm not a miner, I can just I can just switch over classes and mine that little area. Swap out these wards and it's as easy as pie, you know, just drop it in there. Um, so it's pretty pretty easy. The only thing you gotta do is get a botanist or a miner to level twenty, and then you'll unlock those those three nodes. So right now I'm at level eleven and uh, I'm gonna go back to Gridania and uh, just get that to level twenty. That way I can use my miner's abilities and have all six boards on me at one time. Um, it should be kind of fun. See, as you, as you can see here, I don't have that many abilities, but I can fit those other three wards in here, plus an extra two. And I'm not even at max level. So, um, I don't know what the prices go for you guys. Um, mine are 40 to, or at least 30, 30 to 35 to 40. Um, and, uh, you can get a lot, so it's pretty cool. It's not too bad of a way. See, right there, I just made 80 gil. I'm gonna make another 80 gil right here. Make another 80 gil. And, um, once, I, like I said, this guide can be used on any node, any shard that you're farming, as long as you have botanist to level 20 as well. So thanks guys for clicking on me. Uh, I, I will have another video up today that um, is going to tell you what kind of ore that you want to be mining. And uh, please stay tuned for that one. Kind of click around and try, try and find it. Um, it should be up as soon as this one's up. So thanks guys.